I wasn't at my easel a whole lot this week, but that doesn't mean things were slow. Grab a mug and let me tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Hope Martin, a soft pastel artist sharing my love of nature through art. Last week's art walk was super hot and thanks to a passing shower, it was super humid. But thanks to Bob's weather eye, we had the artwork up under an awning of a building so it was nice and safe from the rain and we had our own awning out on the road since they had it closed and things went really well aside from those two things. I met some new people, uh, our, the person immediately to the right of our tent, a young woman putting together little uh, key fobs and other beaded items and met her mother who has a red-footed turtle and possibly will be interested in a commission to do a portrait of her turtle since, you know, turtles are be fast becoming my thing. Oh. Yeah. Another person that came by was out there in June, one of my, one of my first one, and uh, she bought two small sketches I had done with colored pencil. One was that vulture and the owl. Well, I got to meet the person for whom they were bought which was her husband, and he said the most wonderful thing that an artist can hear, that uh, those two pieces of art had a place of honor on his wall. And uh, he asked if we get a selfie together, and I'm sad that I didn't get a copy of it because I would love to have that for those long days when nothing's going on, and I'm like, no one likes my stuff. Then I can look back to that and go, okay, someone does, and someone else will. A little encouragement like that really goes a long turtles. way. Turtles. Yes, turtles. They uh, continue to be the most popular, most talked about piece at my booth. Second, well, not necessarily second to, but second to that would be the red tail hawk portrait. I think mostly it's because of its size and the eye is so large that it does is attention grabbing. Um, I definitely love doing the turtles, so there will probably be more in my future. That vulture, I know I said last time I was gonna stick them to a board and put them away for a while. Well, as I was rummaging through my closet, I realized I don't have a board big enough, so I'm gonna have to wait until uh, I can order a board, which will be soon, um, and put him on that. So for now, he is still on that wall and still appraising everything that goes on in the studio. Patrons, you will notice there is a new tag on your Patreon page. Um, it's called hibernating. So for something like this vulture, you'll go from active to hibernating. So that's gonna allow you to see, you know, what's still being thought about, but maybe not actively worked on. And for me, it's a great way to see, oh, hey, I need to get back to that. So I think we're up to nine tags now. Again, I'm gonna try and keep it small. I may redo the order so that the active project tag comes before the general project tag. Let me know if that works for you or if there's a way that you think would work better because again, I want to organize this to what works best for you. The turtle tutorial is still going well. It is roughly complete and I've exported a rough video that I'm gonna watch and make note of any little tweaks I wanna make. There's a, a bit at the end that is still missing. Patrons, you have a link to that video, and if you have a moment and in the interest and would like to go watch that and give me your feedback, I would love to have it at this point before I do a final export and upload that. That would be a really big help. Also, as you can see on my board here, I did test prints of all the PDFs that I'm going to include on that one, um, and they came out really, really well. They're a little smaller than, um, the size I used, um, but I only use them digitally and I assume many people will, but for those who prefer a hard print, you would have these to print out and you could make your canvas size exactly this size, but if you do a three to four ratio, so three units across by four units down, my unit I think was two inches, for example, so I did a six by eight. On the other things, the stages and the palettes, I'm really happy with the colors. As I'm looking at these outputs and the colors next to them, they look pretty close. So I'm very happy about that. And this is more to give you a rough idea than an exact point. Um, what your printouts look like may be slightly different. So just, if you have to make a decision, go by the value represented more so than the color. And that will get you is quite the far. stages. So that is 
especially what mine looked at like what mine looked like at each point so that you can look at yours and know that okay roughly around here you've got a good starting port point to continue to the next point um, you could continue going on it's really up to you but I wanted to give you an idea of where things were at each point for me so let's move on to some future projects I've got a couple of them one of them is going to be my first plain air event um, if you don't know plain air is just a fancy way of saying painting or drawing creating art outside on location and Columbia Art League is putting on their inaugural plain air event in Rocheport uh, for my California friends Rocheport reminds me a lot of Ojai very artsy small community um, very beautiful place so I may do a scouting trip where I go out there and do a trial run because I'm gonna have to get everything ready ahead of time I'm gonna have to have my colors picked because I don't necessarily want to bring my whole thing um, I'm gonna have to have the frames mats glass and hangers all ready because the way this is gonna work is you have a time slot you work on a piece of art you put it in the frame, you turn it over, and it's hung on a wall and is available for sale. So it's very fast turnaround. And the whole reason I feel like I could even attempt this is all those little studies I've been doing for the art show in Herman, where I know you know within three or four hours I have something that I'm, I'm okay with letting go of. I think you know it's something I would be proud of to see on someone's wall. So that practice has made me see that yes I can do this and so I am going to give that a shot the um, event is Labor Day week so September what is that 8th 9th and 10th is a Thursday Friday Saturday so um, hopefully the weather will be a little nicer than it has been for her the Herman art shows but uh, that should be very interesting this next future project is in thanks to one of my patrons Lynn who put pun definitely intended, kind of planted the bug in my brain about a scarab beetle artwork. So I went online, couldn't find the pictures I wanted, so I did the next logical thing and I ordered dead bugs. Yes, I did. Um, Big Bugs Online is where I got them and there are three small black scarab beetles. I really wanted to get a bigger one, like the, um, the rhinoceros beetle that uh, is also uh, can be found in the US but I've never pinned a bug before you know these three little bugs will come all kind of scrunched up and then I will have to relax them and pin them into place so that when they dry they're in kind of the pose I want if that makes sense so that I can make my own references for this and um, if I can get some great photos I will make those publicly available as well since uh, yeah it'd be nice to have the actual thing to work from so that is coming up aside from scarab beetle I really don't know what I'm gonna do so it's gonna be a lot of playing and I will be sharing that as I go now for a little bonus for you for making it to this point in the video or jumping ahead no judging in my gum road shop I've got a new wallpaper for your cell phone got both for home screen and lock screen you can use it either one I'm using it on mine right now and it features the latest turtle I will put the link in the description as well as the comments if you'd like to go check that out and if you've got a few bucks to throw my way for it that's great it keeps me in coffee if not put in a zero download it and enjoy it all right if you too are a big turtle fan I have made a playlist of all my turtles right here go check it out I will see you next week have a great one